right, so we're going to open with this. All right, y'all. Welcome to Baldur's Gate. A veritable nest of rats and vipers clinging to the rocky slopes overlooking the... Oh, God, I looked up the pronunciation of this. Chianthar. There we go. The Chianthar River. From their high perches in the upper city, the local nobles, known as patriarchs, gaze down with veiled contempt upon the common rabble in the grimy lower city, which hugs the foggy harbor. The whole of Baldur's Gate reeks of blood, crime, and opportunity. One can easily fathom why pirates and traitors are drawn to this place like flies to a carcass. Following the river further east would eventually lead you to Eltruel, capital of the holy land of Eltergard. Or at least that was the case until a few days ago. The flutter of refugees from Eltorel has gotten worse since news first arrived that the city has fallen. Everyone's saying Baldur's Gate is next, but no one truly knows who or what has claimed Eltorel. The Patriarchs play a mercenary army called the Flaming Fist to protect their business, and business interests in Baldur's Gate, and by extension, the city itself. The Flaming Fist has gained even more power since their charismatic leader, Alderate Ravengard, claimed the title of Grand Duke a few years ago. Apparently, Ravengard is missing. In his absence, the Flaming Fist has sealed the city's gates to staunch the flow of refugees. No one is allowed in or out. All of this was brought to your attention shortly after you were drafted by the Flaming Fist to help defend the city. Your orders are to speak to Captain Zodj at the Basilisk Gate, which pierces the city's eastern wall and takes its name from the various statues that rest in its niches and perch atop its battlements. Unseen beyond the sealed Basilisk Gate, a dirt road stretches through the outer city slums to the bridge known as Worms Crossing, and then to the distant realms beyond. Dozens of Flaming Fist soldiers are trying to control an angry mob of commoners eager to get the hell out of the city. Armed with only a vague description of Captain Zodge, a tall man with long black hair and a leather eye patch, it takes you a while to find him. A fight breaks out between the soldiers and the commoners, and you finally spot the one-eyed captain as he wades into the fray and begins throwing punches. Just another day in the City of Blood. All right, so you guys all received your summons. You're supposed to speak to this individual who is just absolutely beating people's asses and maybe a little bit of taking purses off of people who have fallen. <laughs> this is normal. This is to be expected. This is not really the kind of thing which happens very often in the upper city because things are pretty chill in the upper city but just in the other parts this is normal oh so this is in the upper city all right so this is the scene that you guys show up to oh so I think this we're in the, the lower city at the moment mm. Mm -hmm. okay okay at the little marker on the the map that's what the, yes the, that's the where map. you are you are there gotcha uh, Russ is going, hmm, Tuesday. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Alaric is, is staying well away from the fight with a hand on a, a dagger at his hip and his nose very high up in the air. Uh, Istolil is going to march right up to some of the fighting commoners and is going to start yanking people back by the collars of their shirts. And calling them a bunch of idiots because this isn't going to solve anything. Arwen will look over and be like, I mean, do we just let him keep punching? And then when he's done speak to him, do we just wait here? Or should we kind of get his attention? I mean, he seems happy doing what he's doing, but still. Just as you say this, you just hear, you just hear him laughing. He's having a good old time. <laughs> I'm certain the rabble will tire themselves out before too long. Captain Zod seems a capable fighter. I know, but the longer he keeps punching, the longer we have to stay here. That is true. I, I, I loudly cough. <coughs> That's just going to start walking up to him. Oh. 
<laughs> all right, all right. How are you approaching? Are you approaching? How how do you we're just like mm, hi? Like you're you're just being <laughs> open and friendly as opposed to local cryptid. <laughs> yeah. Well. I still look like me, and I'm still hunched over, like hands over one another, <laughs> just like pointing downwards. And just because you salmon, you have food. Excuse. Hmm. It's, I I I don't understand what the fuck you're on about. <laughs> oh, this is to the person, just like uh, to the uh, captain or whatever, just like. You salmon, you have food. While he while while he's fighting, like he's not even like trying to stop him fighting. All right, yeah, yeah. He he just kind of like with this interaction, he's kind of stepping out of the action for a minute just to let the rest of the guards handle it, and sees that you guys are part of a group. And goes over to you guys and just kind of fixes his hair a bit, shakes out his hands. I'm now just following him like a puppy dog, just like food. Yes, don't mind him. Um, hi, Captain. Um, we've been summoned here. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, we're getting all kinds of people coming in. All right, so the the refugee crisis and he just jerks a thumb over his shoulder at just the last of people being calmed down and all of the yelling going on behind him yeah this is getting to be quite a lot uh people are pretty fucking concerned that Baldur's gate might suffer the same fate as Eltrowell, of which like it's apparently just a hole in the ground now when they say the city has fallen, like, that's not, that's literal. That's, that's not like a people have died. It's like, it's zoom, center of the earth. That well, shit. Rumors do tend to exaggerate themselves over great distance, Captain. Yeah, they do. Generally. I assure you, though, this is true. This is right. wild. But we're here to help with the... I just sort of motion towards the rabble. The uh, commoners? Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, no. We wouldn't get just anybody working on that. That would just be... Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, no. 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 See, the thing is, is that over in Eltrowell, um, our... Our duke was there on a bit of a diplomatic mission when it just sunk into the fucking earth. So that's being a lot. So the the knights of Altergard, they call themselves Hell Riders. A few of them were out of the city when it sunk, and um, they're of the opinion that we in Baldur's Gate are to blame for what the fuck happened to their city. So we're busy arresting them when we find them, but we're contracting people to deal with some other shit. What do you all know about cults in the city? Well, it depends on what kind of cult you're talking about. More, more dead three cults, more specifically. Mm, I have a passing familiarity. I uh, believe um, one of our members might be somewhat uh, interested in that field. Rec, Requiem, who so claimed to have passing knowledge of many things. Would that extend to the Dead Three? Should, should I make a religion check? I don't know. Sure, fucking go for it. I, I, I'm good at that. That's one of my things. Yeah, but do it. Gregory doesn't know what that is. That's a 21. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, baby. You know about this. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. The dead three is culture. the collective term for people who worship the gods Bane, Ball, and is it Miracle? Merkel? Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, Angela Merkel. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> oh, it is Merkel. <laughs> the pronunciation oh, guide. No. Okay. Oh, no. That's how oh, it no. is. It's Merkel. Yeah, so gods of murder, gods of death, that sort of nastiness. <coughs> yep. And Captain Zodge just goes on. So we thought we had kind of more or less taken care of the cult problem, but it appears to be experiencing a bit of a resurgence in this chaotic situation. Uh, they're taking advantage to go on full-blown fucking murder sprees. Yeah, so all of you people that have gotten summoned here, if you're interested, which you should really be interested, it would be in your best interest to be interested about this, um, you're going to have license to kill these motherfuckers on sight. Um, find their hideout, wipe it out, and just beat the hell out of anybody who's in your way. Is that something you're down with? Where have these murder sprees been taking place precisely? All of the everywhere. Oh. Isn't that what the uh, Flaming Fist and the upper cities are paid to stop? Crime, murder being chief among the list of crimes. Afraid to get your hands a little dirty protecting yourself, my lord. Not at all. I just expect the hands that I fill, or, well, that my father fills with gold to take care of it for me. I mean, uh, a, a Loic does have a point. We do pay the god to do their work. Uh, are we saying this is beyond? Alaric. Uh, my apologies, Lord Alaric. Um, as Lord Alaric was saying, um, is this is this situation obviously ab above the means of the guards? This isn't above the means of the guard. Well, well, it's we're stretched really thin right now, so we're hiring people. This is a paid position, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> mm, really, really entertaining. Yeah, I know. It's fucking hilarious, isn't it, Fancy Boy? All right. So if you can manage to find out where these people are organizing, where they're hiding up, if you can bring any of their leaders in for questioning, anything like that, we're going to kick about 200 gold your way. In addition to my eternal gratitude, which is honestly worth considerably more, if we're being honest. But, you know, this is, this is serving the city. Just out of the goodness of your hearts, just do something good for once. Because it, be, it might be you murdered in the street next and nobody wants that. That always does good. Do you have any any leads, any starting point for us? Oh yeah. May we have? Mm-hmm. And like as he's talking, he's reaching into this pouch that he has and taking out all of these little copper badges that he's handing out to each of you. They've got the emblem of the flaming fist on them. That bites what bites is. Uh -uh. Oh, no. okay. You don't need to. Please don't need the badge. You know, uh -huh. you need to. You need to wear the badge. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you need to put it like on your coat, so people can see it. Mm. All right. So, a few blocks from here, uh, there's a place called the Elf Song Tavern. Uh, we have a contact named Tarina who hangs out there a lot of the time, gathering rumors and stuff like that. 
she owes me a bit of a favor. So tell her you work for me. It's Captain Zodge again, by the way. Um, she probably has some leads going on and just for the love of Balduron, just be civil to her. She's got some dangerous friends. What sort of a dangerous precise name? Oh, just, just rowdy boys. I see. Well, if this is to be a favor to a respected captain of the guard such as yourself, perhaps I can lower myself to such activities. Will be fun. All right, cool. Great to hear it. It's down that away. Yeah, just just look for the sign. Um, can I sniff the air and try and get like a feeling from him? Sure. Also, what was the name of the contact again? Was it Tarina? Tarina at the Elstone Tavern. Okay. Yep. Just getting a vibe from him. A vibe check. Just see, you guys. Just vibe check. Like, that, like, just goes right up to that captain and just does. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm being sniffed. I don't know what to make of this. Uh, forgive him. It's just his way of saying thank you for this marvelous opportunity. Sure. How do I feel about him from this smell? <laughs> you, feel, you feel like he's overworked and underpaid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he's trying to keep things together, but like with the mention that the like actual leader of the guard is absent, everybody's just kind of panicking and trying not to show it. Fair. Okay, but uh, as I assume we're about to leave, just right just goes. You do good work. Thank you. <laughs> sure, thanks. Bye. Just starts waddling off of everyone else. Or, what, or just walks next, next to everyone else. I mean, I, I, I assume it's Tornil and that would know the lower city well enough to take us to the Elfson Tavern. I've never been there personally, but... Yes, I've, I've been there before. It could lead us. I've never been inside. They have, they have good dumpster. The music's not mm. bad either. Do tell me, Rat, did you understand what that man said of making a good impression on this contact that we are to meet? That means no overt sniffing. It's how I tell her if people are good or not. Well, then I would develop a better sense of uh, hmm, reading facial expressions, perhaps, or just judging people by, well, not their actions. Those are never terribly predictable. But just do keep your olfactory uh, perceptors to yourself in this particular meeting, if you could, as a favor to me, Are you a lord? personally. I am. I also have a OD friend. I highly doubt that. Pulls, pulls out his pocket, shows you <laughs> this really chunky, like, rat. So at your world. That is a rodent. Well, if everybody's ready to go, I can lead us to the tavern. Please do. Keep up, my lords. We don't want to be left behind in the lower cities where you could be gutted any minute for your pretty belt. Lower city home. Let's go. And I'll attempt to lead them to the uh, elf song tavern. I will. I will assist. All right, cool. So you guys make your way along. Um, Mr. DM. Mm hmm. Um, since we said that rather than having a map of the um, city, Rat has a map, a crudely drawn map of like the underground and like dumping spots. Mm hmm. In recent days, has there been an increased in increase of body dumps at certain locations? Exponentially, yes. 
gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When when the captain said, "Hey, there've been a lot of murders," you mentally have been like, "Correct." <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, and there's just a lot more activity going on. Like they're they're saying officially, "Oh, refugees aren't allowed in," but refugees are getting in. And people are, again, are eager to leave because, you know, a city sinking into the ground, just, that's the kind of thing that makes you want to get out into the country for a while. Mm. Ghosts talk to relatives you haven't seen in a couple of decades. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys make your way along to the Elf Song Tavern. I will port you guys over to the map. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, this is like a two-floor sort of affair. It's a pretty decent building for this part of town, at least on the outside. Anyways, people do definitely take care of this place. And as you guys head inside, you're just hit with the smell of tobacco smoke and fried food. Oh, on. God. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's the small bar on the other side of the room. There are people just having lunch and stuff like that around. There are little private dining rooms off to the sides of this place where people are eating and chatting. There's a lounge here at the bottom where just several people are just, they've got a lot of cigars. This is a smoking club. This is what they do. And you can hear noise coming from upstairs as well, that people seem to be a little bit more raucous up there, but people down here, it's like, okay, got your drinks, got your meals. This is how we do. Yep. Before we walk in, I um, I turn to Lissa and I say, "Okay, so I didn't take you to these places very often because this really is not my sort of establishment. But this is a place where regular people will go and have fun. This might be your thing. I don't know, but um, doesn't tend to be mine. But this is how the locals will kind of keep themselves busy. So it." Yeah, you're in for a treat, maybe? But yeah, just see how you feel about this place. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. <clears throat> All right, well, let's head inside. Maybe we'll find our contact. What was, what was the description again? A lot of smoke, a lot of fried foods. Fairly busy at this time of day. No, about the woman. Uh, we're looking for a person called Torina. Yeah, you only got a name. And the yeah. description being, has dangerous friends. Mm -hmm. Torina, has dangerous friends. Got it. Alright, so... Split up, or stay together? Why don't you guys grab a table, and I will go and talk to the person behind the bar. Behind the bar. Wow, I am picking up accents left and right. That, that sounds... That sounds... the most intelligent thing. I'll go and sit... somewhere. That starts, like, literally dragging and picking up a table. No, 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 no. Just, just leave it there. Thank um, you. Hmm. We'll just sit here by the by the exit to make a quick getaway. Alaric lays down a small handkerchief before he sits down. <laughs> you are Niles from Frasier and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, but be, be... Sorry, what was that? I said I said he gets out his wine aerator. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> Yeah, like, being that you're about ten feet away from the bouncers, 
one of which is just this big buff half orc lady, and the other one, you're not sure if it's a bouncer or not. It's just a suit of armor that's chilling there on the other side of the door. You're definitely getting some looks from the half orc. Okay. Like, why are you here? Is is there anything in the suit of armor? Is it just a suit of armor? It's a suit of armor. Okay, okay so uh, I guess um, uh, Istolil is going to head up to the bar and see if he can catch the bartender's uh, the bar keeps attention. All right, so head on up to the bar who the barkeep who is just writing some stuff down on little table behind him. Turns around to see you at the bar. Um, this is a kind of middle aged half elven gentleman, you would guess, is definitely getting in up there in years, but is keeping looking a bit young at this point. Um, but yeah, just uh, puts the stuff away, waves to you, and puts his hands down on the bar. And just goes, all right, what can I get you? Uh, I was wondering if, a, if you know anyone by the name of Tarina. Might, yeah. Uh, we, uh, me and my group have been asked to come and speak to her. Hi, all right. Uh, any particular reason why? Did we all get badges when we got badges from the captain? You all, you all got badges, yep. And he's just going to point to the badge that's like on the life on like his shirt ah, because we've okay. been conscripted I all right yeah she should be upstairs i think she's wearing like a blue sash and like one of the, the waiters comes by and is like it's green you fucker <laughs> all right green sash <laughs> i guess Blue or green, one of those. She's upstairs. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Green right. set. Can I get you any drinks while you're waiting? Talking? Uh, any of your group there? Sure. A round of drinks for my group. Whatever you... Whatever... You know, let's make this good. Whatever is your treat, uh, your cheapest and most disgusting ale you have. All right, I'll bring over a pitcher. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yep, so you've got that information. And a little while later, one of the servers brings over a big pitcher of ale and a whole bunch of glasses. I got drinks and I have information. <coughs> Can't sniff there. Yeah. Are you all right, Rat? Are you all right, Rat? <coughs> People smoke. It's hard to breathe. What information do you have? Um, the, the, the person we are meeting is upstairs in a green sash. And does a green sash mean anything in particular? To your knowledge, it doesn't have any particular symbolism. Not that I'm aware of. They might just want to look pretty today. And uh, he's going to pour himself a glass of ale. I say we all have a drink and then we can go upstairs to find our contact. 
I sincerely hope that information is of better quality than the beverages you seem to have procured for us. Now, now, I'm sure there's someone that's going to come and ask us for some... Take our orders. So I'm assuming that is for yourself and your companion there. Oh, uh, the drinks are for the, the pitcher here is for everyone. How tremendously generous. Oh. I, you I, should I try some. It's not bad. I have some? Uh, yeah. And he'll pour you a, he'll pour Rat a glass. Oh, please. Yes, certainly. I, I very much like one as well. When in Rome, and I put my cup out. Everyone gets a round of drinks. Rat Sorry. attempts to start drinking it. <laughs> very important question. Yes. What does what does Requiem do when they need to eat or drink around other yeah. people? <laughs> we all just turn our heads. The realness, <laughs> the real questions. Reaches into a bag of holding you didn't notice that she has, pulls out the world's longest crazy straw. <laughs> I was just going to say <laughs> that. That's precisely <laughs> what I was going to say. It's one of those crazy straws that spells things out and it just says, yeah. choke me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Impressive. Oh, but I do have a question. If you don't mind me asking. Uh, who's she talking to? Just you in general. Okay. Uh, yes. We want to speak to Trina first, or should we What's the phrase for it? Case the joint? It's probably a good idea to be aware of our surroundings as we go upstairs. Though, do we all want to go upstairs or do we want some of us to stay downstairs? I would like to come. Well, I certainly won't be like it. letting him make our only first impression. I can stay here. Oh, no, I, please do as you wish. I just would prefer to be there as well. Okay. Damage, damage control, shall we say. Do you believe we all would probably enjoy being up there? I think so. We were we were conscripted as a party, so let's go as a party. Hmm. Well, then we can finish our drinks and then head up there. Though while we are finishing our drinks, it's a good idea to look around. I was going to say, I, I look at Requiem and say, is this the kind of place that needs, like, checking out? Do you think there'd be trouble here? I've been in my fair share of taverns throughout my life. There's always interesting people to talk to. You never know what people might know. It's a tavern in Waterdeep. <laughs> um, so, uh... Istalil would like to like just glance around the bar and see if anybody sticks out on this first level. Uh, not really in particular. A lot of the people here do seem to be just like dock workers, sailors, stuff like that. Everyone um, looks so generic. Everybody does look so generic. Down here anyway. The it's full of clowns. Yeah. It's full of randos. Nobody's really standing out. Like, not even the staff, really, from what you can do see we, of them. Do we see anyone coming up and down from the stairs that aren't staff? Like, um, 
yeah, if if you stay there for a number of minutes, like a couple people like will come down to like use an outhouse and then head back up a number of minutes later, but that's about it. Well, uh, Isla's going to set his empty mug down. Anyone fancy going upstairs? I'll come. Upstairs seem, should be cleaner than this, yes? Can breathe. I would hope so. Though smoke does tend to rise. Mm -hmm. well. Consensus, everyone wants to go upstairs. Hmm. All right, then I guess we'll go upstairs. Right. <laughs> when you say that, that's already like halfway up. But it lets you go in front of him because he knows. He knows. All right, so you guys head on upstairs, and it, it is a lot louder up here, and you had been able to tell that from being downstairs. Like, it's probably a good thing that up here has rugs and stuff, just to keep down the sound of chairs moving and stuff like that. But people up here are very drunk and being very rowdy because... Hey, this is the gambling area. <laughs> Some people are playing dice on the table that is closest to you, and on the other table, people are playing some kind of card game, but they're not even playing with cards. They're playing with, like, just scraps of parchment. <laughs> just end the person that you see that looks distinct from other folks and is wearing a green sash is just there and scoop, scooping up a bunch of copper and silver up to their section of the table as they're just cleaning house at dice games. Hmm. We found the gambling hall. Anybody up for a game? Never played. It can be fun. Should we talk business, do business first, then play? We can probably do both. It might make it seem more natural. I mean, we stand out. Nothing natural about. That's true. What do, what do the rest of you think? Would be interested in a game or two. I wouldn't mind stepping back. Gambling is not really my thing. I'd rather, I don't really rely on chance. It's, I'd rather rely on logic. So I'll keep an eye out on what's going on while you play. Sounds like an idea. Wait, where's the little lord? Lord Alaric, are you here? Can't believe he got eaten by a bullet in that game one. <laughs> Killed by his own sense of snootiness. No, that's all right. If he's still downstairs drinking, we can just move along a little bit. That's true. He, he ended up liking peasant tail. <laughs> uh, so Istalil is going to wander up to the table. All right. Um. Hello, Dan. Hello. 
Scanner your back. We cannot hear you if you're talking. Um, once he, I guess, makes his way up to the table, Istalil is going you know, to look around. <clears throat> is this seat taken? Nope, sit on down. All right, and he will take a seat. He's going to look over at the rest of you and see if anybody else is going to come over. I'm just going to stand by you. Um, and I'll, I'll shout over. Um, I'm, I'm with him. I'm just observing. All right, Rick, I'm sitting down too. Last, didn't you want to play? Mm, so, what is our buy in here? Mm, depends how much money you got. These fuckers, they don't got a lot of money at this point. <laughs> and is just looking at them, and one of them it just flips her out and walks out. <laughs> mm, I've got a little bit of coin. Which reminds me, I did not take any coin at all when I did this. One moment. Please acquire our money to gamble with. <laughs> I somehow have 10 gold pieces from background. The, uh, <laughs> the equipment for the Blood Hunter doesn't have any starting money. That's great. You would get money from your background. Oh, uh, let me go check my background. Unless you're a hermit, it's 10 gold. And unless you're, No, okay, unless you're a hermit or noble, it's 10 gold. Uh, well, I'm a hermit. So you're five. And think of that. So uh, I will put down... Um, Wow, I only have five gold. <laughs> That's going to be a very big buy-in. We can knock it down, like, I don't know, just a couple silver, something like that, start off with. Yeah, that'll be good. So I'll give myself uh, four gold, uh, eight silver, and some change. I've never played this game before. How do you buy in? Uh, put money down. And uh, I still know is going to set down five copper. I... Requiem is going to put in <laughs> one gold. <laughs> Just, just seeing the amount of coin, I was just gonna go, eh, gold, eh. And Charina looks back at Estelle expectantly. Oh, fine. He'll scoop the 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 five copper back, and I'll put a gold piece down. All right, cool. Yeah, the the other people just wander off to do their thing. Waddles over there. Mm -hmm. So how play? All right. This is an actual game, which is fun. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is Baldur's Bones. It is a dice game. Um, so I think I think I think how we're gonna do this mechanically is people are going to whisper their roles to me. Added that just to keep it fair. You. You do slash W, and then the dice roll. 
I think that's how it works. We can just do GM roll, right? Yeah. And will it roll it to you? Yeah. Okay, so because I just I just I just tested it out and I just you got that? Yes, that worked. Okay, cool. So we just do GM roll. What about because hmm, half the time when I do it, it doesn't work. Did that work? Yeah, I think everybody can see that. Uh, okay. Yes. Why does it never do that when I say to whisper rolls? Please. Do, do slash GM roll. Oh. <laughs> I'm not receiving anything. I haven't written it yet because I forgot how to write out rolls in real time. I haven't played Dungeons and Goddamn Dragons in so long. Valid. That's not true, but one shot's half count. Yup. Nope. Didn't. Oh, good. there's a weird asterisk there. You don't need to put the slash roll in. You just need to do the G slash GM roll. Oh, and it does a D20. Nope. I'm stupid. Nope. Error in my formula. Why am I dumb? That's literally what I typed. Why is it? Minus the S, yeah, <laughs> what Ant put. <laughs> you could just copy paste that string without the asterisk. That's it. Yeah. There, it fucking worked. We did, we did it. All right, Thank so you. How do we play this game? All right, how do we play this game? I'm going to post the full rules right here. Give some text. Oh, God, it didn't come with formatting. Uh, All right, so step one, put money in the pot. Well done. Since there are four players, the pot is currently four gold. So everybody's going to roll 3d6. And yeah, everybody's going to roll 3d6. And then we're going to go around the table. People picking to stand or roll. Um, yeah, you're trying to get as close to 21 as possible without busting. And oh. the person with oh. the person with yeah the person with the highest total gets the pot. So we're basically doing blackjack. It's blackjack with, with dice. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. All right. So can everybody please? Whisper 3d6 to me. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Fitting. Oh, wow. Or wait, this isn't really supposed to be a secret thing. No. No. So I'll just put I'll just post everybody's totals. Okay. I I, I rolled really well. <laughs> so it's just a completely game of chance, basically. Unless you have loaded yeah. dice, and then you can try and use them. <clears throat> Okay. 
All right, so those are the current roles as they stand. I did so bad. <laughs> all right, all right. So clockwise around the table. So it's still ill. You rolling again, presumably? <laughs> I'm going to roll again. So not a secret roll? No, nope, just, just a d6. So how many more times can you do it? As many as you want without busting. Okay. Uh, Ten. Yep. Oh. So, Rat, you rolling? Uh, wait, it, oh, not me. Oh, okay. Rat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, 21. Oh, you're right at 21. Shit. <laughs> All right. So, Requiem. All right, and Tarina. Brad's trying to do the math, but he's just like, uh, one, uh, 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 yeah, one, uh, uh. <laughs> just very struggling. All right, it's still out. Oh, yeah, rolling again. Would anyone stop Rat from rolling? D yeah, he's no. got 21. Istalil will stop him so he doesn't bust himself. Like He's about to do it, and he's like, huh? huh? No, no, you have the exact number you need. Don't roll anymore. Okay. P just puts a bit down. <laughs> All right, Requiem. Keep rolling baby. Bad. All right. It's still ill. Yep. Wow. Okay, I'm at 13. Dear God. Requiem. Okay, I have to stop. Unless I roll a nat one. Are you at 20? 20. You you would have to roll, or else... Oh, no. Or else Rat is automatically going to win. You have to get 21. <laughs> All right, yep, yep, Tarina just busted. All right, she's rolling. at 24, she busted. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm at 16. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Dear Lord, you help me roll bad. Yep. Oh. No. Did you also just bust? Yeah. When that happens, Rat's gonna go. Mm. <laughs> I guess my turn again. Dang, I busted. No way. <gasps> 16. Yeah, no, yeah, I busted. 22. I'm at 22. 22, yep. Yeah, so Rat, you get the pot. You get four goals. <laughs> mm. Congratulations. Get? Bacon. He's gonna. Istil is gonna look at Tarina. Back on has a dumb grin on his face because he has no idea what's going on. Who's <laughs> <laughs> just handed some money? Uh, I guess if we play again, that depends on our friend here. Hi. Well, yeah, if you want to. Or do any of your friends want to join in, too? Mm. 
Me now, I'm happy just watching. It has a... have to play for coin either. Mm, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mr. Captain have... Man. Yeah, I was gonna, like I said, if you weren't going to say something. <laughs> we, were, we were told you had information that was pertinent. Okay, pertinent to what and by who? Pertinent uh, to our collective conscription from General whatever Captain his name Z is. Cap from Captain yeah. Zodge. That's a dumb name. All right. All right. Yeah, I agree. All right, so what is it that Zod wants? We're looking for information on, I out of character, it was for information on the followers of the Dead Three? Yep. Okay. We're looking for information on any who follow the Dead Three. Okay, you want like, concrete, actable information, or just, like, general information, like who they are? Concrete, actable. That. Okay. All right. And, like, she sees the badges that some of you have put on and are displaying. Rats is kindly pinned to, like, his hood. Like, one was, like, a you know, like a flower, like, around someone's ear. He's wearing it like that, but on the outside of his hood. All right, you fashionable folks. So, uh, Zard sent y'all. Did you say, like, specifically, like, what what is it that you're doing? Are you finding out info? Are you there to murder every one of the motherfuckers? That he, one. that one, he's asked us basically to take care of these people. Okay, clean out, clean out places. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'll make you a deal, okay? If you stick around for a couple hours... Um, I'll give you some info on a place where people have been seen coming and going. Just stick here for a couple hours, and if any shit starts up, you protect me. How about that? I think that's quite agreeable. What about the rest of you? Okay. How, but how clean is the air up here? What's it still smoky as shit? It's it's still it's a little bit more breathable than it is downstairs. Not okay. much though. Rat's gonna attempt to like try and tell if when she says um if something happens, it's more of when something happens. Like she knows someone's about to rock up. <laughs> That's Are you yeah. Side check. Stuff of like just very just like more subtly this time. Can I join him on that insight check? Are you also sniffing? <laughs> no, my thing is more sight based than sniffing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine is mine is sniffing. I'll sniff. <laughs> okay, it's a little sniff. It's a little more subtle considering you're veiled. Yeah. <laughs> I can Are we rolling with close. advantage or just normal rolling? Just normal rolling. Oh, is this what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what you're doing? Okay. Yeah, what, you think that I was just smelling the air for no reason? Nah. You're trying to sniff out extra planar entities. Yeah, part of it is also, I want to smell the ghost. <laughs> can, I, can I snort 
ectoplasm. What? <laughs> I'll take ghost lines from the Ghostbuster script that were removed. <laughs> And I fucking uh snort some ectoplasm. They're from New they're New York, right? I've never seen Ghostbusters. I assume they all sound yeah, like that. I think they're from New York. Probably. All right, all right. Um Yeah, yeah, okay. So with the divine sense going on. You you sense from the potted plant in the corner of the room an undead presence from that direction. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> you sense an undead presence from where that potted plant is. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm going to turn my head in that direction. Because, like, it's fucking called the Elf Song Tavern. Like, yeah. we all know why it's called that. Mm -hmm. We do. I'm well, yeah, my head uh, it's still Elf Wood. But, yeah, it's still Elf With that 23 insight check, like, th there is no particular reason why a person would ask, hey, can you stick around for a couple of hours and make sure that I don't get killed? Unless they were expecting for somebody to show up and attempt to kill them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that's, that's cool. Uh, yep. Just so you're aware, I can't be surprised by undead phase or celestials or anything like that because of my yep. class. <laughs> yeah. You can't be surprised by it, and you don't know that it's there. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> but uh, look, looking around at everybody, he'll look back at uh, the, the 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 lady and go, "I see nothing wrong with sticking around and helping out." Helping out with what exactly? Security. We're going to be muscle for a few hours. Is this to do with dangerous friends? Might. Hmm. Are they still friends of yours? No. Hmm. What does conscription mean? Gives you a look. Like, is is this person baby? <laughs> um, it, mean, it means you're being forced to do something, but like in a polite way. Please they're polite. But I don't want to do this anymore. Hmm. But I'll stay. Good stay. So, how many not friends of yours are you expecting? Are you getting into specifics now? No, I just need to know if I need to make sure the my weapons are loose if they need to be. Well, if they're not, then you're doing it wrong. I'm I'm just saying there's a reason why I'm out in public rather than hiding away. Um what's the uh other what is um sorry, uh Arwin and what's your character's name? Uh Lissa? Yeah. Now yeah. yeah, what what are you two doing, by the way? So Arwen was watching and then Arwen was was asking why the hell do we have to wait for four hours? Um and then I guess if we are being bodyguards, he's just going to sit on this bed and be like, Well, I guess we're just sitting here for so long. 
da, ne? Because yep, I... Just, go. Unless it's just with that one. I assume a lot are going to be gambling for the rest of the four hours. So we might as well just be comfortable while we're waiting. Hmm? <laughs> oh man, Requiem, are you going to investigate the plant at all? Sure. I'm just gonna raise a glass to the group and then just go, <laughs> go hang out with the Glide plant. on over to the plant. <laughs> like a sheet in the wind. They glide. <laughs> Three cool. sheets to the wind. Requiem is always eighteen sheets to the wind. <laughs> sheets to spare. <laughs> I got plenty of. I got boxes full of Pepe. <laughs> uh, before Requiem goes to do whatever Requiem is about to do, uh, Rat will say, "Wait," and just slide over your coin back, and then s slide over to um, Istali, uh, uh your your coin back. And, uh, oh. looks to, and look looks to the uh, other person and just go. Mm. She just shakes her head and waves you off. Mm, payment. <laughs> just takes it back. It still will pocket his coin, but he'll have a nice he'll ha he'll have an unusual like small smile on his face. Quim's gonna pat Rat on the top of the head, and then ghost away. Noom. Noom. Rat's then just gonna go sit on top of the stairs and just start playing with Archibald. <laughs> yeah, you go over there and the person that was sitting on the couch just slowly gets up and goes downstairs. <laughs> okay. Free couch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's sitting right there on the floor. All right. But he's making sure Archie doesn't try to run off because he's never going to find him in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Archie goes up and makes a home amongst the plant leaves. You stay. Have fun. <laughs> just, and just watches him play in the plant. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are hanging out and over the course of gambling and food and stuff like that and engaging Tarina in conversation and stuff like that, you, you figure out that she was a sailor and she fucked off from her ship a while back and may have gutted a guy. So she mentioned that, hey, some of her old crew might be showing up to wreck shit. She oh. appends that the guy she gutted absolutely deserved it. <laughs> well... Whether he deserved it or not, we're here to help now, so... You... Should we have everyone clear out of the top floor, just in case? Nah. I don't think it's gonna matter. Nobody here shanked me yet, so I don't think they're gonna... Mm. Our hands to help, perhaps. Perhaps. Nine hours later. Did you ever investigate the plant with the ghost? Oh, no. I have already forgot. <laughs> what was You've already mean? forgotten the, about ghost plant? In character or out of character? Out of character. <laughs> uh, what would that be? Like an investigation? Or like yeah. A, I'm bad at you're, that. You're... You're literally investigating this plan. 
a 13. All right. You take a look at the plant, maybe like brush the leaves a little bit and see how it moves. It reacts in the same way that you would expect a normal potted plant to act. I'm going to sort of look around the room, just like note that it's all smoky and nasty up here. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stick the bottom part, you know, like how you know how like sticks of incense work, how it's like the part that's the wood stick and then like the top mm-hmm. part is the incense coated part. I'm gonna stick the stick part into the potted plant. And I'm going to uh light the end of it. And I'm gonna like sort of just like not quite finger guns, but sort of like a shrug and then walk back to the group. All right. Like, yeah, that's how you take care of ghosts, right? You stick- <laughs> this is how you this is how you exercise a ghost, right? <laughs> Not really trying to exercise a ghost, but just like, hey, skedaddle, buddy. We're about to we're about to be Fucking... fighting. You don't want to be here for that. Yeah, yeah, like, I like I... Yeah. just <laughs> you just like shrug towards a plant and just walk back to the group. <laughs> Requiem glides across the floor, sticks some incense in a plant, leaves, turns back, sees it kind of looks like the plant is smoking a cigarette, and like does a little chuckle under her veil, but no one <laughs> sees that. Uh, Rat, Rat is uh, does like. You hear the sniffing become much louder as like this the incense does waft off to him eventually. And she goes, Ah, so much better. <laughs> Sweet. Requiem, you the the veil that's like right beside your ear gets disturbed a little bit, like somebody is like right up against it, and you just here very quietly. What was that for? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, a warning to get away from the violence. Oh, I don't know how that relates to incense with the plant. No, I don't. I don't know how I don't know how ghosts work. I just, you know, it seemed appropriate. I thought to myself, hmm, people like wave things around that are smoky, and that's how they say, "Hey, this is a shoe a little bit." Not like a big shoe, not like a, you know, chanty shoe, but just like a, a small shoe. She looks at your feet. <laughs> you. Those are some small shoes. All I can think of is little Wayne. Those are his hooves. Um, yes, those are my f- feet. Those are my, that's, I have hooves. You have small shoes. Sure. I mean, tech, kind of. A little, a little bit. So, out of curiosity, are we seeing or hearing Requiem just talking to themselves? You're hearing Requiem talk? You, You are definitely not seeing any sort of conversational partner. But you're hearing Requiem talk, and you're hearing a very quiet voice respond. Oh, okay. It's totally just going to keep an eye on Requiem and an eye on the stairs. Hey, do you want to hear a song? Sit and... Elf song? 
You can't see it, but I'm doing finger guns at you. <laughs> oh I have to narrate that I'm doing finger guns at you because not a lot of people can see me. I will. I, I will absolutely take a song if that is what you can provide. All right. You, you see the table shifts. And some of the dice get, like, knocked a couple of inches toward the side, as if something something invisible is standing on the table. <laughs> and so he's just going to look at Requiem, just like, deadpan, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and everybody in the tavern, this ghost can fucking project, is what they can do. They start singing in Elvish, and... My hair's on the wall. Hey, I speak Elvish. Does Requiem? Sorry. I don't think so, because I speak a lot of exotic languages. What do I have? You have Elven. Nope. Oh, oh, that's just, oh, no, that's that's just so well. I just have a lot of exotics. Who else speaks Elvish? Does Lisa? Well, I don't. I didn't think I could be that. Wait, isn't like if you're a half elf, isn't that like one of the languages you automatically get? I'm not a half elf. I look like a small green half elf. Oh, my apologies for assuming. I'm I'm a virgin, but that's what they're described as. Gotcha. Okay. Fun times. All right. So, yeah, Isfaliel is the only one that can pick out the lyrics, but for the rest of you, it's a nice tune. It's haunting. Definitely haunting, but like in a good way, like in a sense shivers up your spine kind of way. I, I myself am not going to attempt to sing, <laughs> but there are <laughs> lyrics, so I'm just going to say the lyrics as if they were a poem. And um, Istilil, you had mentioned coming into this tavern before, yes? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Every other time, it's been a different, or it's been the same song consistently. Like, this is what this place is famous for. Like, it's haunted, but by a ghost that is pretty chill and occasionally sings, but it's like a jukebox with just the one song. Now it's different. And she sings... I was sing a song of Elturel of water, woods, and hill. The sun dawns on her ruddy cliffs and fields green and still. This land of long abiding joy, home of the strong and brave, renowned by all across the realms and never once a slave. Oh, sing a song of Elturel when foes are at her door, her fields torn by cloven feet from some infernal shore. Arise the mighty hell riders, take up your swift keen swords. Then charge into the hellish fray and scatter devil hordes. Oh, sing a song of Elturel, and when the night does fall, sleep so safe beneath companion's light until the dawn does call. We're bound by mortal covenant that only ends with death, and so we'll sing of Elturel until our final breath. The rest of you, you, you can pick out the name of the city, Elturel. That's the one word that you can pick out of all of the Elvish. Um, for anyone who's curious, who wants to know, uh, Istolil will, uh, translate the song for them. Yeah, I'm just gonna post the lyrics. Yeah, I would ask you to do that. Thank you. 
But yeah, once they're done singing the table shifts again. <laughs> Well, that was different and very, very beautiful, but different from what is normally sung. Oh, thank you. I'm trying something new. Yeah, he's just going to stare a moment because he's never had interactions with the ghost. <laughs> right. Well, if I remember correctly... Captain Zodge mentioned something about Hell Riders. Correct, yes. What he had mentioned was they believe that Baldur's Gate is to blame for Eltrell's problems. <laughs> Gotcha. Do we know and and are being arrested on sight. Mm -hmm. Do we know anything about the Hell Riders? You can history check. Oh god. Uh, okay, one moment. Yeah, with my zero history. Let's do this. Oh, I no. am Jon Snow. Six history. That sounds bad. Sounds bad. Do any of you know anything about these Hell Riders? Ah, let me think. I will do a check. Oh, that, that was whispered to me, but that's oh, just like was. a natural 20. <laughs> Apparently, I, I I just get my book out and I'm like, oh yes, here's the here's here's what it says. All right, so yeah, you you know that the Hell Riders were recently named that, and it is a bit of an epithet that the knights, like the established knightly order in Elchuel, took when they literally descended into hell to fight some devils. They were cavalrymen. And uh, most of them never came back. Oh. But they kept the name going. You say most. <laughs> most. You know, going, going into the hells to fight devils is like, you're getting a lot of hazard pay from that, but... <laughs> did, did they come back, though, the same? <laughs> did they come back changed? Like, like, came back, like, all gangly and devilly. <laughs> The, the thing about the thing about the hells <laughs> is that if if you're going to come back, you're gonna come back before things change. If things have changed, then it's too late for you. Um, this is your home now. What is it talking about in the song when it talks about sleep safe beneath the companion's light? I don't understand what that means. You get a history check about what the what the fuck the companion is. Oh, okay, sure. Let's try this again and see how bad I get. That was pretty song. Ooh. Okay, okay. That's a fifteen. That's pretty good. You're you're a Baldur's Gate local, so you know little bits about the surrounding areas. The companion was an artificial sun that hung over the city of Eltrell and protected, like, a while back, you only know vague details on this, but they had a vampire issue. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was a vampire issue within Eltrell. So somebody summoned this artificial sun to remedy the vampire issue. And it had, has just been there ever since. Okay, it's, so the... it's not just free floating in the air above the pit that used to house Eltrowell. 
<laughs> like, it might have disappeared, it might have gone with the city, but it's not there anymore. Mm. It's like a protective light. So there's a reason that I've never been there. Got it. Well, that's a... Uh, right and bad. That's an interesting song. Uh, thank you for sharing it with us. Leaves one to think about a lot. You're welcome. Yes, doll. Who are you talking to? I'm apparently conversing with a ghost. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. You can't see it, but I'm waving. <laughs> Does the air smell ghostly? The air smells like air. Hi. Why do you like smoke? I'm neutral on it. No. Oh. Mm. Okay, bye. Goes back to the corner. Bye. <laughs> uh, I guess we can time skip now or something, I guess? Mm -hmm. Yep. I just need a very quick break, and we'll be back in a few. Hopefully, Diane can rejoin us. Yes. Has, it, has anyone has he messaged anyone yet? He says his internet's died, so he's trying to get it back. Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to the clusterfuck we're about to get ourselves in. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I look over my spells. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to be kind of spamming a lot. Because <laughs> I have nothing but utility stuff. My one thought, do I activate my ability or do I not activate my ability? It is one hit point, but could that or would that make the battle? Mm, that's up to you. I just realized I could have been guided. I, I could have somehow gave guidance. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Rat, do good. Boop. Guidance is like the most underutilized cantrip ever. It's only under this, under under utilized because every other class that can get it just takes damage spells instead. Yeah, it's true. Like whenever I play a cleric or anyone who can get it, I always grab it because hey, a one d four added is great. Mm -hmm. This is my first ever druid, so I'm looking forward to it. Nice. I have played one druid, and that was back in a 3.5 campaign, which was fun. Nice. I, I think I've played, or I'm currently playing, every single class, except for one. I've, I've never touched a wizard for a long period of time. Because I know I did a one-shot as a wizard once. Hmm. But... My most played class is Cleric, <laughs> because I like being the Healy boy. And like with Clerics, there's so many different directions you can take it. Yeah, uh, I played a Cleric in 3.5 for like so many years and got him up to like level 13. And I took so many feats and abilities and I could heal... I could heal like no one's business. I miss that character. Mm. I got a, uh, I ended up taking a feat at level 13 that allowed me to expend my turn undeads because I get so many of those a day. I could expend turn undeads to give all of my allies within a 30 foot burst of me. Um, basically, uh, 
instant like full healing if the next healing spell cast on them would in heal them for full and then i wouldn't have to like uh waste a bunch of smaller spells to heal everybody at once which was always fun fair enough no uh, my my favorites are usually in the martial classes and also i tell a lie i've never actually played a fighter well mm. actually, wait, did I... There was okay. No, tell a lie. I did do a fighter, but I didn't enjoy it that much. I just enjoyed doing chaos and dumb shit. Mm-hmm. But like, I've never really done it in a full blown campaign, or like where I've had to role play it. But yeah. I'm much more like martial. I I love barbarians. I love monks, paladins. I played a monk in a one shot. I was a furbolg monk, way of the soul knife. Uh, I can't be fucked with like side points and all that shit. <laughs> it was it was it was interesting. Uh, the only martial cl- really big martial class that I've ever played is I'm currently in a Pathfinder game and I play a Dampier Magus. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, basically, I can channel spells, touch based spell attacks through my sword. Okay. So, like, uh, Shocking Grasp, or Vampiric Touch, or I can hit somebody with my sword and cast Hold Person on them. It's a very interesting class. I very much enjoy playing it. Mm. I've, I've always wanted to pick up Kensai again. For the... Where I just I can, I can use a long sword as a... Um, or like a, a long or great sword as a um, fucking uh, monk weapon. <laughs> Add decks to that shit. What? The? Uh. Also, welcome back, Lido. Hello. Just just looking at Pathfinder for some reason, my brain just goes and ah, no. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's more numbers than three point five, but uh, I still love three point five, so I enjoy it a lot. Mm, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Are we all good? Clearing the people that have been quiet. Dan is gone. Is his internet just fucked? But. Yeah, it died. Ah, that mm. sucks. Ant, are you here? Yep, I am. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So you you guys chill out for the next while. Are all of you just kind of staying upstairs in the general vicinity, keeping an eye out for trouble? I think- just asking where y'all are located. Yeah, uh, Istalil would stay upstairs. Yep, same. All right. But, but Rat is like sitting on the edge of the, the stairs here. Like the feet hanging over. <laughs> People are definitely giving you stairs as they go up and down. Mm-hmm. Especially the staff that are bringing drink and food orders to people. Uh, I, at this point, though, I have made sure that Archibald hasn't left the plant. You know, Archibald is quite content. Awesome. awesome. I'm just, I'm just going to whisper to him, things are about to get weird. Stay there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> then over the stairs I go. <clears throat> All right. So you guys chill. Well, they they do have really good fish and chips here, by the way. <laughs> it's like an order is brought for the table as you guys continue to play dice games and chat. And sure enough, there you hear some conversation happen downstairs, and since you're keeping an ear out for it, you do hear the name Tarina mentioned. Like, somebody comes in and is asking, like, hey, I will absolutely get a drink for anybody with information on where Tarina is. 
Hmm. Estella's gonna look at Tarina. I think your friends are here. Great. Great. Love that. She just gets out a knife and puts it on the table. <laughs> He's, uh... Istolil's going to make sure he has a crossbow bolt loaded into his hand crossbow and a hand on his rapier. I think it's best if we stay away from the entrance, so I'm going to move back. Oh, Alric, that, that room is occupied. That room is locked, dude. Oh, uh, well, I will go here by the plant, by the ghostly plant. All right. Lissa, are you moving? Yeah, I moved that way. All right. And, like, you guys are hearing a lot of conversation coming from downstairs. There seem to be a group of people that are there. You can hear several different distinct voices. I'm just going to say to the other group, they sound angry. Oh, well, that's good to know. Mm. Thumbs up. Yeah, and like a couple of minutes later and more of this conversation, you can hear just some heavy boots coming up the stairs. Bit, bit I... like a, just a bit like a kid, just like waiting for like that someone to come up the stairs. He's just, he's just like. Rats just peeking over the edge, just looking down like, mm. <laughs> If anybody hurts Rat, I am going to slaughter them. <laughs> <laughs> Weird lizard son must be defended at all costs. There is a gif for this. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, and Rat, with your keen sense of smell and everything, you can, you you can sense the fish stink before you even see the people coming up. Just there is this big burly guy with a vendetta against the concept of bathing, with a number Ooh. of other people coming I, upstairs. Come... Okay, I know what I'm gonna say after the fight, but. <laughs> Yep, and just the person that comes up the first just locks eyes with Tarina immediately because she is also watching the stairs and is just just looks over at her and goes, You motherfucker. <laughs> and she just does like a little half salute and just goes, Nice to meet you too. And the rest of the people just crowd around upstairs and start getting out weapons. I'm just going to take one step back. <laughs> I'm going to just take a step back and just check Archie's okay. Okay. And then just turn to the rest of them and just wait, wait for the shit to stop. <laughs> All right, let me populate the board. So, so when so when you say guys, how many? Um, some of them might still be coming up the stairs, but at least five. Okay. She would just say for now, like dance characters just still downstairs, just like ah. yeah, just not getting into this. I'm so sad over what friendship might have been there is now ruined by the fact that he's just going to stay downstairs. <laughs> oh, look. Bearded man folk. Oh, hey, look, they're lining up. Yeah, I was really excited. <laughs> they're very orderly making their way up the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, they're excited. Blah! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> time to puke on these boys. <laughs> All right, let's get some initiatives. Oh, shit, I'm saying to it. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. 
These guys are ready to rock. No monologuing, just time to fight. Also, in because I was so excited to play this dumpster boy, I bought uh, physical spell cards. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, but, but but because of Xanathar's guide to everything, I only base uh, set. So some things I need to stop. So uh, okay, yeah. Mm. Turn is in take. Is fog cloud? Uh, references spell. First up. Yeah, fuck that. Hmm, there's a sign. How peculiar. Is that everybody? That's everybody, yeah. Oh, Requiem hasn't gone. Oh, Gray. Yes, we are fighting shit. Oh, I need to locate where my token went. It's below Tarina. Oh, the map goes sideways. Huh. I've got the world's worst initiative. Is it zero? Negative one. How? Oh, that's an entire seven. Well done. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I clicked... Okay, hon, y'all saw me click my token. Like, it went boop, boop. It went boop, boop. It didn't seem to work, though. <sighs> All right. I wonder if they're going to go straight for me, even though I'm not, like, I haven't drawn anything like everyone else. <laughs> no, dude, they're going to go straight for Tarina. Fuck her. <laughs> they don't care about any of you people. Excellent. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I meant to use this crossbow bolt beforehand, but you know what? I'll do it later. Oh, wait. Yeah, you have that thing where you can't be surprised. By Celestial Fae. Uh, okay, yeah. These guys are not that. <laughs> nope, they're Just normal here. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to double check ranges. Uh, 15 feet, okay. <laughs> Say with me, kids. Fun, by the way. <laughs> Yep, balance. it's just going to head on over there and toss a couple of throwing knives over at Tarina. Hello, Dan. It's Dan! Dan, we're fighting dirty ruffians from the sea. We're fighting seamen. Oh, jeez. All right, so did hit her the once for seven piercing damage. Yeah, look, she, she takes the knife in the shoulder, but fortunately that is her non-dominant arm. All right, it's still ill. Okay. Um, one moment, I need to read something.
So, uh, drawing his rapier, he is going to make a uh, very... He's going to drag it across his palm, and he is going to invoke the right of the storm. So, uh, that is a bonus action. And I will... Do I go for the big dude, or do I go for the little dudes? Up to you. I'm currently eyeing up the little dudes. Okay, so I will move around the table to the big dude, then. All right, and uh, I will attack him. All right, cool. You would be flanking. So you do get to make these attacks with advantage. Awesome. All right, that hits. Nine piercing damage and one lightning damage. All right, excellent. What weapon are you, do you use? I use a rapier. Ah. All right, so you, you just hamstring this guy with your rapier. <laughs> Like, you meant to stab him in the back, but the armor kind of deflected it down, but you still get him good. All right, is that all? Yep, that's my turn. All right, fuck him up, Arwen. Okay, so I um, uh, look over, and I, I grab my book, and I flick through, and I think, hmm, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? And I will, I will target the one these two are targeting first because you know it seems like they damage him pretty well. And uh, I will trace uh, a rune and inscription in the air, and I will cast a uh, chilling touch on the bandit leader, bandit captain. Ah, oh, and miss. Yeah, you miss, unfortunately. Um, God damn it. Uh, I will, I'll stay where I am. All right. What's up? Okay, I will look at the bandit captain and give him a haunting stare, and then try to cast Mind Slither on him. Mind what? <laughs> Mind Sliver, that sounds fun. Mm. Okay, so an intelligence save. Okay. Yeah. Makes it. Yep, unfortunately. All right, all of these motherfuckers coming in. We're going in for the kill. Ah, oh, crap, I shouldn't have left. Nope. Well, it was nice knowing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Don't worry about it. This is fine. Anyone else coming up? At the moment, no. Cool. <laughs> okay, so that's against Tarina. Huh. 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Some Hi. rowdy boys have come in and are knifing people. Bad. How is lady that's supposed to be giving us money looking? Unconscious at the moment. <laughs> Bleeding a lot. <laughs> I should not have moved from that side of the table. They would have just they would have just gone on the top of the table. There's too many of them. Well, hopefully one I'm about to do might fix a, a bit of that. Unconscious, mind you, not dead. Unconscious. Okay. Uh, should I join on this initiative, Lita? Sure, go for it. Can say yes. you're coming up from downstairs. Lord Alaric yeah. needs to get his hands dirty for once. Mm -hmm. All right, and so against Stadil, since you stabbed their leader, two of them are going to attack you. That's fine. Dan, is that actually what your character looks like? Approximately. <laughs> God, he looks like an arsehole. <laughs> Correct. Correct. <laughs> yes. Uh, All right, so does twelve hit you? No, a 12 does not hit me. All right, yeah. They're they're trying their best to, to do a stabs, but it just doesn't work. Uh, how... Mm, they can't really get a great shot off. So the... I can't really get a good shot off towards anybody. Maybe, maybe Lissa. Yeah. One of them is going to take a shot at Lissa, since she did a magic. <laughs> she tried. Ooh, a 19 to hit. Yeah, I think that'll hit me. <laughs> Jesus, Lisa. <laughs> okay, you take an entire two points of piercing damage. I mean, you say that like it isn't a quarter of my health. Yeah. <laughs> it's a quarter of your health, yes. Level one. <laughs> Level <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cheese. All right, so... Do we want to... Should I drop it in here? Just after this 16. Yeah, you should dr round. yeah. Dr drop right in cool. here. Go for it. Yeah, you, you okay. come upstairs to find that the person that the rest of the party has been talking to mm -hmm. is just slumped over the table bleeding a bunch. <laughs> well, that ain't good. Okay. <laughs> and there's a bunch of rowdy boys who just showed up really asking about a woman named Tarina. I see. So from thrilled. <laughs> So I was sitting down downstairs and then i heard shit going on and i'm coming upstairs and seeing this rat kindly yeah, guys uh, right. do, do all of the boys seem equally rowdy or is, are there any boys that seem a bit more rowdier this one seems to be the rowdiest he, oh he's the rowdiest <laughs> i see okay uh well coming up from other are, are there banisters on these stairs can i see can i peek through the banisters and get a good look at him yep Oh, I'm gonna stay where I am in that case. I'm gonna peek through the banisters, <clears throat> uh, and you guys don't see much, but you suddenly see a uh, beam of vibrant green energy shoot out from the direction of the stairs. Uh, I'm gonna cast Ray of Sickness. Get down with the sickness! Yeah, th that exactly. Uh, so I will target the, the the rowdiest boy, and I will cast the spell. We got it. Uh, that is, there is not, I didn't include an attack. Does, oh boy, how doesn't it say con save? Uh, no, it's an attack and a con save, so it rolls oh, to gotcha. hit and then he makes, it rolls to hit, it does the damage, then he makes a con save, otherwise he's uh, poisoned. Uh, so it's 1d20 plus uh, 6. 15 to hit. That will. Cool. He takes eight points of poison damage and then needs to make the con save. Okay. Oh, oh, Dan, I love you, but why did you have to come back? What? Why? What's up? Collateral damage. Well, too bad. Sorry. That's a 12. He fails. He is now poisoned until the end of my next turn. So he has disadvantage on attacks, ability checks. That's fortunate. Hmm. That's me, baby. 
Mm. Oh, also, Istalil has a sword that's beaming with electric energy. It's great. Oh, that's fun. My word. Which is to say that Alaric can see a bunch of spastic light coming from that direction. Good. <laughs> he is currently dancing with three of these people trying to stop mm. them. That's fun. Okay. All right, Rat. Can I go to like here? Mm hmm. And then put, get the um, chair leg and sort of like Nanny McPhee sort of just hits the ground. And then he's going to do fun Thunder Wave. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. What's the. It's like a 15 foot cube, right? Cent centered on me. Centered on you, well, or does it, it emanate it, from you? It emanate from yeah. Uh, does it emanate? Is it, uh... Yo, you can hit f or no, you can't hit all of these fools at once. You can hit up Plus. to three of these fools at once. Or I could hit all of them if it, if it's fifteen foot, like depending on. Well, like, no, I, that, I can hit five. That's all fifteen feet from you. It's not a fifteen foot cube, though. I don't think. Um, yeah. Let me cast it. Uh, yeah, level one. Oh, uh, spell card. Fifteen foot cube would be a three by three square. And a fifteen Looks foot like cube that. originating from you. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so it could okay. be there and get those three. Oh, yes. Sorry, for some reason I thought it was a fifteen foot around me. Um, no, it's confusingly worded. You were right. Uh, I will go for these guys down here. Boom. All right, cool. So we got to get some con saves. Yep, 14. Uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, the guys that made it still take six. One of them gets flung directly into a wall. Nice. Uh, Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, well, well, they're not flung so much into a wall as you you just vibrate their organs to death. <laughs> However, everyone inside does currently have a ringing in their ear slightly. <laughs> yep, that's the guy whose organs were vibrated to death. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my action. Um... How are you doing bonus action spell? Because I can technically do healing word, but no. I know I know within the rules it's if you cast a spell that's not a cantrip, you have to like you can't use your bonus action for anything. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I think for now we're gonna keep it cantrip only for action or bonus action. Only one straight up spell gotcha. per turn. Okay. Yeah, only a level one leveled spell a turn. Fair, okay. That is me. All right, Tarina is unconscious. Requiem. Does it look like she's actively dying? She's bleeding a bunch. I don't know. How many people have you seen die? Um, That's a good question. I don't really know. Probably some. Where that's also water. a very that's also a very leading question. <laughs> you could make a very quick medicine check to assess the situation. The world's, the world's fastest medicine check. It's a nineteen. Fastest medicine check in the West. <laughs> All right, would probably not do great if they were stabbed again, but might have a couple of minutes of life left in them. I want to stab so bad. However, I guess I can just. Paladin level times five? So currently you have Leon Hands of five, so. Yeah. So, five HP, potentially. Mm -hmm. Or one just to get them up. However, it's the captain next. <laughs> yeah. That's true. However, I am between them, and if he moves past me, 
do I not get an attack of opportunity? Mm. If you moved out of your reach, yeah, but the lady is also within your reach. Oh yeah, I forgot there's people behind behind. God, I don't want to let Tarina die, but I also uh, yeah, want to stab. Stab? Go ahead. She's not dying yet. She's fine. Yeah, you've assessed that she has a couple of minutes of life left, probably. Hmm. You feel confident about your assessment. (laughs) Okay, well then I'll just do a, 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 I'll, I'll do a stab. I can get that up as well. Fuck yeah. That's a twenty. That's a that's a big. That's a big stab. Are you stabbing the the poisoned boy? I'm stabbing poisoned man for ten piercing damage. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You you stab him in the side, and it hurts him a lot, and he is not pleased okay. about this new development. Can get a wife. She was you were looking with a wife. This boy is. Oh, what's up, dude? Who was I kidding? I was pretty monje. All right, so it's disadvantage on attack rolls while po- poisoned, correct? Yeah, and ability checks. Okay. But not saving throws. Uh, would he have still passed it? No, he would have failed. No, no. All right, yeah. It's, it's going... <laughs> You've you've got the spear in him. You're kind of holding him at arm's reach, but he's got long arms and a scimitar, and so he's gonna <laughs> flail at you with the scimitar. We both stabby. We both just have like a sharp thing in each other, just staring at each other. Jesus, this boy. Ooh, um, twenty-one to hit and a twelve to hit. Is my AC? Uh, the twelve does not hit. The twenty-one does. Alright, that's six points of slashing damage. I am okay. Or it would be a 20 to hit, rather. Because it is advantage. But Still he, hits. Yep. But yeah, he ain't moving. Istalil. Istalil is going to, you know what, take another shot at the dude's back. <clears throat> cool. You would have advantage because you're flanking, so that hits. Yep. Six piercing damage and four lightning damage. Those rights can fuck a person up. Yup. Especially at low levels, it's all the difference. Alright. Any fun bonus action stuff or nah? Uh, Let me check. Oh yeah, by the way, the other people in the room are <laughs> trying to get the fuck out. Oh, no. They're like getting to the corners. They're going like, nope, nope. Nope, I have no fun bonus actions to do. All right, Arwen. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, try it again, but I'm going to do it on this fighty boy that's next to you. Tarina, so I'm going to attempt another chillum touch. Nice. All nice. right. That works. So seven points of necrotic damage. Yep, that's my turn. Does chill touch have any additional effects? Not against undead. Oh, the, he's not undead, so no, I don't think so. Not against normal okay. people. Gotcha. What's up? Uh... Oh, we can't do uh, HP regaining or something, right? Oh yeah, he can't regain um, hit points. I think. Yeah, it that can't. Right. It can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. All right, cool. Lissa, it's your go. Okay, I will. Um... Yeah, I'll do the bandit captain again. But I'll try to just not whispers them. Oh, fun. What do I have to do? I try to cast it. It does nothing. There we go. Wisdom save. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, jeez. 10 psychic damage. Oh. Ooh, oh, he fucked that up. <laughs> All right, yeah. so flavor this. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I just give him a really creepy stare and then start to whistle, but no one else can hear it except him. Oh, no. All right, does this sentence whispers have any additional effects? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it must immediately use its reaction if it may available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Great. Well, uh, yeah, we would definitely like step and half trip over the body that's there. So Requiem, you can, yeah, Requiem and Istawil can both take attacks of opportunity against this guy. Smash that motherfucker. Yep, that'll hit. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, Yo. I got a big hit. Yeah, that's also oh, that's good max hit. damage on both. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Here's here's a fun thing. Here's a fun thing. Either of you individually would have killed this guy, so how do both oh, of you want to do this? <laughs> Um, uh, 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 Requiem, how about you go and I will build off of you? Um, I'm gonna stab with the spear, but I'm gonna, like, stir it around a little bit <laughs> once it's in there. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Mix the pot, bitch. <laughs> While Requiem is doing that, I will, um find the weak point in the armor at the back of his neck and just slide my rapier straight through his neck. And it will carterize oh. as it sizzles with electricity. <laughs> That's good for the sake of the couch. You're keeping blood off the couch. That's very kind of you. Off of your friend's nice his... white outfit. Does his corpse go fucking crazy because it's electricity directly to the spinal column. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's doing a bit of a taser dance on the ground. Yikes. Yeah, also, shout out to, uh, to Lissa. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's Good a job. great job. <laughs> the, the founder of this particular feast. My god. All right, group effort. Well done, Alaric. Okay. This is a lot to take in. Well, I looked. I looked to the others. Can I get a? Can I get a vibe check on the uh, the people that are left over? They looking like the fight to the death sort, or the ooh, that's above my pay grade sort. They they seem like uh, they're absorbed in what they're doing. Like, some of them are not... They, they are not hanging on their leader's every word. Okay. Oh, I love this because I know I have terrible charisma, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them anyway. Now, emerge from up the stairs and say, Very well, your leader has fallen. You shall all follow suit swiftly if you do not throw down your arms. He doesn't really look like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to go more intimidation or persuasion on this. They're both minus one! Alright, cool. Oh, jeez. Ted. Ten. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> it's their turn next. Yep. You get swarmed. <laughs> oh, correct. good, okay. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen, what are you doing with those knives? Wait, no, not, no, wait, 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 I've changed my mind. Oh, geez, and I don't get to attack the one that runs away from me. <laughs> you thought very sorry. Yeah, you've already used your reaction. Yep. You know what, yeah, that, that guy is going to try to squeeze in between and take a crossbow shot at you. So... Jesus, they really don't like me, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, you're being a pompous dick. 
<laughs> Correct. <laughs> and you're the squishiest person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> they look over at you and just go, oh, I'd love to stab that. <laughs> oh, ooh, he seems 10 out of 10. Very stabbable. Well, he has money, so... <laughs> um, correct. Yep. This guy seems ripe for a stabbing. No, nope. whoosh. No, that second one does hit. That one does not. The All right, so you, you get hit once. Five points of slashing damage. Oh, my health. <laughs> All right, and Ugh, away, beasts! <laughs> is that is that my blood? Oh God! <laughs> it's oh, not God, somebody else's. All right, th- this one is. God. Yeah, it's gonna try to like reach over to Rena's body and go for requiem. It's gonna like effectively attack at disadvantage on this. Uh, do I get? Let's, yeah. Yep. You you can take a crack at this guy. I, I try. I take out my dagger and I try to stab. All right, that's gonna hit. So there's three points of piercing damage to him. I'm assuming that, or I'm assuming the eighteen hits you, Requiem. Gray. You can just check hey, it out, probably. Does an 18 hit you? Yeah. Alright, so this very wooden man is swinging a scimitar at you. Baby. Oh, wait, shit. Four points of slashing damage. Yeah. Baby damage. Baby. Little baby. Baby. All right, Rat, you've got a bunch of dudes all around you. Not attacking you, though. That's nice. No, they seem occupied. Um, from, like, one of Rat's pockets, he just digs in, grabs, pulls out what you would see is, like, a bunch of just swarming bugs, and just throws them at uh, this guy here. He's got to cast Infestation. Great. I love it. So con save. Con save. It's just got pocket beetles. That's fun. Pocket beetles. <laughs> okay, so he takes four points of damage and he has to, he moves f- uh, and if he can move, it spends at least five feet west. <laughs> Whatever direction of west is. Okay, so we'll say they go there. Okay. That's the closest to west they can get. Fair. Uh, and then as a bonus action, because that was a cantrip, let's see if she wants to have a bit of fun. <laughs> we'll do just healing word on. On Tarina. Yeah, I'm just, just going to shout out Get up or your food for me. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so wakes up, is immediately ready. Just there's a guy that's like half leaning over her, so she's just going to try to disembowel this guy with with her knife that's still on the table. By the way, just in case you haven't seen it, Dan's gonna be uh, Ooh. Hello, just as you oh. say that. Okay. Oh. All right, she very effectively disembowels this guy. <laughs> Yay! All right, Requiem. Great success. I'm up. I'm good. Gray. Oh, wow. Um, um, that feel when?
Uh oh. Um. Hello. Where is nearest man? There's a bunch of men. You could get to any of them. Help! Help! <laughs> I guess I'll go stab a man's. Do a do a do a do a chigomp. A pazam. If you move up one, you can flank and get advantage. You're you're attacking bugman. Bugman, Saul Bugman is about to if get. If you move there, you can get advantage. I thought you meant up as in like that way, but it was not. Ah. <laughs> get friggin' speared, my dude. Higa. It's a twenty-three to hit. Yeah, certainly. It's five. I rolled All a right, one. you spear him good. Yeah, you did, unfortunately. You stab him good, but not quite to death. Who's this? Who is... Hold on. I don't know why. Who is this, and what are they up to? They they are a random person, and they're trying to, like, climb up on the table and the couch and stuff to get away from this fight. They are not looking for a fight. Dude. They, like, have their back up against the wall. Uh, since Lord Alaric needs help... Correct. Isalil is, go uh, is going to make his way over and shank this dude in the back with his electric rapier. Cool. With advantage because he's flanking? Yep. Well, that depends. Is Alaric... Is, is this thug threatened is, uh... by Alaric? <laughs> Like, I think the, I think the better question maybe, but the, okay. The, the question is: Is Alaric prepared to do physical violence to him? No. <laughs> Even if okay, then no. <laughs> really, Alaric, Alaric is panicking at the blood on his clothes that is apparently his. I know what I'm going to do next turn, and I can. I'm answering like the, not. It's because of this specific circumstance, but I know. That the answer to that question is no, he is not. <laughs> 19 to hit. All right, yeah, that hits. This is not uh, just a spike. 11 you. piercing and one lightning. Yeah, yeah. He, he convulses a bit less as he dies, <laughs> but still does slump to the floor. Yeah, just run my sword straight through and pull it out and look at Alaric and just. Better? Dan, your light is green, but you can't be heard, I don't think. This probably means he's about to die. Hello? 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 Alright, we can go to Arwen's turn. What are you doing? Okay. Well. So, I'm going to the one that's in between uh, Rat and Requiem. I'm going okay. to um, flip past the Chill Touch page. I'm done with that now. And I'm going to start inscribing some runes in the air, and they will float above the guy's head. I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. So, Wisdom Save. Please. Great. All right. Uh, if he is damaged, it's 12, which he is damaged. So, please fail the save. Yay! 12 necrotic damage. Yep, he was extremely damaged. 
<laughs> and then that stops mattering. All right, Lissa. Is that guy still alive? Nope. Then I will stare at the other guy and try to mind sliver him. Not well, but I try. <laughs> then that's what counts. That's what counts, right? Oh, they saved. Yeah. <laughs> I, I fail again. <laughs> Oh, they, they, they don't even notice. They're still trying to stab Alaric. That's me. Alright, would you like to move or anything? No, I'll stay. Okay. Alaric. Hmm. Stupid technical difficulties. Yeah. These messages. Hello. Hey. hey. Yay. Yeah. Don't know what uh, you did, but <laughs> I just left and rejoined. Uh, you see, you see a moment of this this judgment call pass across Alaric's face, where he's almost going for the hilt of his the hilt of his dagger at his at his hip, but then he like his other hand sort of reaches up and touches the. Uh, where he's where he's bleeding from, he kind of looks at the guy in front of him, and all in this split second, uh, and then turns around and runs away, disengages, uh, and starts shouting, "Guards, guards!" <laughs> down towards downstairs towards the two bouncers that he saw, the half orc and the suit of armor. Isn't it in your job description to make sure that your guests aren't set upon by vagabonds? No. Well. I'll pay both of you five gold each if you come up here and kill these kill this man. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Not good at that, but okay. That's what this is, though, dog. True. No, no. I'm. I'm. This is. I'm so pleased because he's so unlikable. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the half orc woman just just laughs and shakes her head, and, and you see the armor shift as well, mm. almost as if it is also belly laughing. Okay, I'll have this place closed down. Damn the both of you! And he just he's just gonna get as far away from the fighting as possible. Okay, you can even move yourself over to the downstairs map if you wanna. Oh, sure. Yes, sure, I will. All right, there's this one dude left. Yeah, people, people are dying a bunch, a lot, a lot. So he just very, very spitefully is going to pick up his art now. You know what? He's just gonna throw a fucking knife at Tarina. It's like I'm out, man. Fuck this. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to use this for the attack, even though it's I less disadvantage. Since yeah, wouldn't it be? Yeah, it would be a disadvantage because it's more than twenty feet. Is it? And also five feet. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, feet. true, true. Yeah, throws uh, a knife. Throws a knife. Can, can I grab it in my mouth like ah? <laughs> just a <for> flavor. <laughs> You you just try to snap at it, but it just actually you know what you snapping at it you don't catch it in your teeth, but you knocking against it is enough to send it off course, <laughs> and it just flies and almost hits one of the random people that are cowering in the corner. <laughs> yeah, and then he's just gonna go fuck this and take off. Rat, you can take an attack of opportunity. Uh, can I take an attack of opportunity as well? You weren't engaged with him. The boy was here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Whoa, he. Uh, that's. I thought I killed that dude. Never mind. Nope, you killed the other dude. What was the other guy? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna hit him. All right. Three points of slashing damage. Yeah, you catch him uh, across the back as he's making his way downstairs. Is he running? Like he's still alive? Yeah. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> you and him have the same idea. He's so running after this dude. Problem is, you have to compete with pocket bugs. <laughs> nope. All right, rat. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You could be a space right behind him. <laughs> Pocket bugs. You're <laughs> just chasing this man down the stairs <laughs> to dump bugs on his head. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great picture. It's like such a shitty like college prank. <laughs> just like you're, you're, you throw like it's just little... don't die, bro. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> what do you mean shitty college prank? <laughs> I wish all college pranks were like this. I mean, fucking, you have to collect that many bugs. <laughs> all right, he has grown wise to your buggish ways, <laughs> and just slaps the wrist that was trying to dump bugs on him. My bugs. <laughs> That's it. I think that's always movement. <laughs> All right. Tarina. Tarina's still a bit injured. Coughing up a bit of blood. She is just going to go over to the one guy and just double tap, just make sure that he's fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna see this guy's soul in the underworld. <laughs> That's gonna be great. <laughs> All right, Requiem. The fight has been taken downstairs, it seems. How many people can get to this? Funky map? Fresh. Not many, I think. I really need to kill that dude. He's just like insignificant. Just boring. So. You mm -hmm. can... There is the lady who's still kind of like bleeding and coughing up blood. So I can slap her, slap her with some five hit points. Delicately pick my way through the bodies. Uh, how? Look, just look at her. Give her just a, a, a. When it says lay on hands, just like one hand mostly on the forehead partially on the top of the head and just slap her with five hit points opening up her third eye yeah mm -hmm. one hit point per digit unless you have <laughs> more, more or less than five fingers i don't want to no. make assumptions That's... about how many fingers your character has character has five fingers but like everything about her is just kind of weirdly elongated Mm, that's fun. Yeah. So it's like six and a half fingers worth of length, mm. but on five fingers. Yeah, something like that. Nice. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. My pleasure. All right, Mister Lou. You. He gets to the space behind Rat, right? Uh, sorry, I forgot I was on push to talk. He's gonna scroll oh. over. He's gonna get to the top of the stairs and pull out his hand crossbow and shoot the dude. All right, cool. Nice. Yep, that'll hit. Blah, blah. Oh, oh, holy hell! That's what a good shot. are you? Yo, I rolled really well, guys. When I was it's doing this really character, really good damage. It's really good damage, dude. That's it's awesome. really good dice. I yeah. I did really well with this character in dexterity. So anything dexterity based, I'm really good at. Yeah, from your. Yeah. 
Your vantage point at the top of the stairs, you absolutely shoot him through the top of the skull, and the end of the bolt is kind of poking out around where his chin is. As that happens, Vetra's going, oh, no! Hmm, I ruined, ruined new headpiece. New hat. Well, there's still other ones upstairs who you can take a hat from. Wait, upstairs. Hat. Archibald! <laughs> Runs up there. I'll get out of his way and look over at Alaric and... Are you alright? I'm bleeding! Well, we have people upstairs who can fix that if you would like to come upstairs when you're done having a tantrum. By and he'll way, go upstairs. By the way, you guys are still in initiative. <laughs> oh, are we? Oh, oh shit. My bad. <laughs> there are other fools on the board. <laughs> Wait, all the Yep. These boys. Oh, there are two down here. I see that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> they were watching the exit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call upstairs. We've got more of them down here. New hats. Yay. <laughs> okay. Hearing right. that, then I'm just going to dash down. I love the fact, like, we just completely ignore them and, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do they, do they very obviously have, like, murder in their eyes when they see... Well, us? they did just see one of their compatriots get shot through the skull right in front of them. Yeah. So, if they weren't going to be stirred to action before, they certainly are going to now. Yeah, okay. I get to the bottom of the stairs behind... Uh... I think I get I get to hear from my story, and that's my turn. All right, Lissa, are you just heading down the stairs too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Getting to Alaric. Okay. So there's like... there's a couple of people by the door. Uh -huh. Getting out the scimitars, and you're looking yeah. that way anyway because you were trying uh. to get the bouncers to intervene. Uh. They're not intervening. Hey, there are some tough dock workers and sailors in here if you want to try and bribe them. That's true. Who looks like the toughest, meanest sons of bitches in here? Us. Well, aside from well, us. From experience, it? you. <laughs> Who's who's which 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 I I, I scan the room for a, a mean looking couple couple dudes. Um. Yeah, yeah. The the people that from your line of sight, you see that the people in this dining room over here, mm -hmm. they seem to be armored, at the very okay. least. That's something. So, so they're armored. Mm. Do they oh, look oh. like? Do they look? Let me activate my activate my uh, noble senses. Do they look poor? I was just <laughs> about to say that they're poor. Do they look there. like they could be uh, easily swayed by the promise of gold? Potentially. Okay. <laughs> you ten... think probably? I I go, I'll go up to them and I say ten gold to each of them. If you if you the two of you get between me and those. Bastards over there. Cool. Cool. I put ten gold down on the table and I cower in the corner in the dining room. <laughs> here's here's the fun thing about the module. Ten gold was the magic number. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> so they expected you. <laughs> Yeah, they, they anticipated this. I'm gonna roll initiative for these randos. Nice. And now the entire because ten gold is like the magic number, the entire bar just turns on them. <laughs> just anyway. everyone's eyes just light up red. Nice. Oh, they rolled really good. Hell yeah. I'll be here in the corner. Yeah. All right. Drinks. But yeah, the. These motherfuckers get to go first, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since you seem to be cowering, they're not as concerned about you. They're more, con <laughs> they're more concerned about the bowmen up there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, Man. there's an elf on the stairs using a cross, a light hand crossbow, and you know, a sword with electrical energy running down it. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's fu- that's fun and funky. They've also got crossbows. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is. By the way, uh, elf on the stairs is the next evolution of elf on a shelf. So yep. Where can they move to get a decent shot off on you? Well, I mean. I would like, say, like, don't I have like three quarters cover? Or oh half yeah, cover or something? yeah, yeah. There, there, there is a banister there. So we'll we'll say, we'll say you can have half cover. Me so that's like hand. a plus two to my initial to my uh, DC. Do your AC, yeah. Yep. All right. So yeah, they're both going to take shots at you. Wow, they really don't like shooting me. I like it. So that's a oh, 13 geez. to 21. The 13 misses, the 21 will hit. Okay. My AC with the bonus Ooh. is 19, and that hurt. Seven points of piercing damage. I'm going to take that one, like, right in the shoulder, and, like, oh, damn. The people upstairs just see you get bolted. I get slammed into the wall a little bit. It doesn't look pretty. All right, rat. I'm just going to hop down here. I've had too much to drink. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's acid time. Oh, I hope we don't have to pay for bar repairs. <laughs> bar repairs. <laughs> Ooh, the one did very well. The other one, not so much. Is it half damage on a save? Uh, half damage, yeah. I, I kind of like, I assume like the one that rolled really well just holds the other one in front of him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what helps. Having a meat shield. <laughs> oh, now now this room smells even worse, though, rat. The smoke was bad. Burning flesh is not your favorite smell. <laughs> rat might actually might actually throw up now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I guess uh, uh, Alaric and um. This totally would see, but like, uh, when Rat does it, uh, like his throat gets a little bit wider, and like as a as of as, and then just bleh. <laughs> you're just gonna get cheered on from the stairs. Painful cheering. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yep. <laughs> Tarina is gonna go vaulting down the stairs. Everyone's giving rat space. <laughs> That's as far as she can get. She can't get too far. Ah, stairs. The ultimate choke point. <laughs> yep. Requiem. That's that's very rude. Oh, uh, oh. get it? Yep. yep. Hey. That was weird. It was like, <laughs> um, I guess we're all going downstairs. So I'll just <laughs> single file line, kids. <laughs> Yep, yep. We'll say that you can kind of hop over the banister and get just on the other map. Oh, and wait, no, I can't. I kept clicking, but I can't see where I'm going. I'm in the grass. Okay. Boop. We'll say that you're essentially sharing a space with Estelil because he's going to be the next oh. to move and we'll move away. 
presumably. Yeah. yeah, he's going to move down the stairs, uh, holding his one arm with the crossbow in it up to his chest, and then he's just going to go at the one, the closest dude with his rapier. Yep, that'll hit. 12 piercing and one dear, lightning. Dear God. <laughs> you are just, just stabbing everybody to death today. He shot me with a crossbow bolt. I'm not happy. He did. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Yep, cool. Arwen. Okay, so I'm going to... Moves you on down, uh, my uh, three and a half seat cells in between the legs of FPM. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to look at the one that's remaining and do those similar inscriptions that flail above his head and told the dead. So wisdom save. All right. Five damage if he makes, if he fails, because I think he has been damaged by the breath weapon. So yeah, yep. F five necrotic damage. Five necrotic. He's still alive. He's up. <laughs> and me? Probably not for long, Lissa. Uh, can I get down the stairs enough, just enough to see him? Yep, you can. Yeah, I'll just do that and stare at him and try to mount Jeez. leather because it's worked so well. Is your speed thirty? Yeah. Yeah, they, then you can get further than Arwen. Yeah, I'll just go down enough to see him and then move back. Mine's liver. Mine's liver. Wah. Yeah, they're all so intelligent, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're just rolling good. They're not that I know, intelligent. I know. <laughs> yeah, I move back. Ah, all my right. minions. Now, now go, your minions. Minions, go! <laughs> Defend my honor! <laughs> they are going to do precisely that. Hell yeah. Here, I'm just gonna roll real dice, because it's fun. Okay, then one of them does hit. Nice. Hit him with clubs. They've, they've got knives. Nice. Even better sharp clubs. You know, sharp clubs. Sharp clubs. And to their credit, they just both start stabbing this guy in the kidneys. A nice. Bunch. And then That's he a stops. good place to stab them. You're both doing so well. It, yeah, it's quite effective if he stops moving. Oh, <laughs> wait, did they just kill him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he only had three hit points, dog. <laughs> I, it's uh, Alaric comes out from uh, behind the place. Victorious, tremendous job. Istolil is just gonna look at him like bleeding heavily from the shoulder, and he's just gonna. Okay, this is great. Where's that wine we had earlier? I need a drink. Gold for blood is generally how transactions are made in Baldur's Gate, after all. Yeah, these, these, these two guys who just knifed the, the person are immediately looting the corpse. This is their corpse. They're looting it. Yep. Of course. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I guess I'll wander over and poke at the one that I shot with a crossbow bolt. All right, cool, cool. Uh -huh. Ooh, ooh. So, how many dead folks are there other than the one that these friend of his are claimed one to? We get six oh, minion nice. corpses and the big dude corpse. Okay. All 
All right, so throughout all of the minion -y guys, you can gather up a total of 24 silver pieces. And... So that's I'll, I'll just four... post the totals, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. four silver a piece. Thirty-two gold shit. Yep, yep. So you can grab that, and the person that was leading them also has a couple of gold <laughs> necklaces and a ring. Does any do any of them have any food on them? They are food in a sense. But do they have food on them? Hmm. Mm, nothing that. Oh, well, one of them has a little bit of jerky. Perfect. It's 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 just loosely tucked into their vest. It's not in a bag or anything. Awesome. I'm taking it, it's that much in it. <laughs> Fluff and all. Isdolo's going to make his way back upstairs. I'm just going to chill at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the, bar the bartender seems unfazed by all of this carnage and is just getting a couple of pitchers go ready on, and and asking the the staff to like go get a mop and start cleaning this shit up. <laughs> that poor person. Can uh, anybody help me with this shoulder? No. I can not today. I think I used up my very limited resources. Mm. That's fine. Can somebody help me bind it? Mm. That I can do. Likewise. I just don't want my dude to bleed out. He has four hit points left, people. <laughs> Get good. Yeah, I, I mean, that. I have six, so. Yeah. I still Damn. Have I have 16. I'm happy for you. Didn't you I'm get hit? I did, two times. <laughs> oh, you've, def you've definitely calculated your HP. I was going to say. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I'm good. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is You're off of... Oh, okay, yeah. that's why. From the old, from the old yeah. sheet. I'm using my TSVR yeah. sheet. Shit. God damn it. Well, Are you I hope I'm Dead. I'm probably fine. I got good cons. Um, I was about to say, wait, nope. are you dead? <laughs> no, no, no. Ten plus con. Ten plus con, so it would be thirteen. So you would have three hit points left right now. Yeah. You're also very cool. injured. Sweet. What? What? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Medicine yep. checks all around. Yeah, everybody's getting bandages, everybody's getting booze, the corpses are being dragged out, one of the services that the Elf Song Tavern provides for its patrons. You don't have to look at dead people. Yeah, actually, <laughs> guys, uh, see them at Domingrand later. So, um, we do good as he looks, he just looks to the, um, I keep forgetting her fucking name. You said it so many times. Trina. Trina, thank you. Yeah, Trina. We, we good? <sighs> yeah, we definitely good. Thanks, you guys. Mm. Glad to be of service, and he's gonna like shake his sword, and the electricity is gonna go away as he puts it away. Oh, that's a fun trick. Yes, it's a very useful trick to have. That right, checks the plant, make sure Archibald's in there. Archibald's still there. 
Koi didn't poof away. <laughs> so? so, so there's uh, information you had for us. Yeah, props to you guys for handling that sticky, sticky situation on that. And she like gets off up off the couch, like remembers something, and then starts looting. This guy like takes off his vest and starts shaking out the pockets and stuff like that. All right, so there's this bathhouse, right? And a whole bunch of people have been heading in and out. Might be a meeting place, might be an entrance to some kind of headquarters, stuff like that. I'm thinking the latter, probably. Might be bathhouse. Well, it is a bathhouse. I've been in there. It's just a straight up bathhouse, but people have been coming and going that are I think I, types. I think I know the one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. But yeah, I can I can definitely show you guys to where it is. We would appreciate that. We might need to rest first, though, because I yeah. Heard. Oh, yep. All right. Yep. And she's finished looking through this guy's stuff and finds a ring of keys and pockets. Of... All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just let me know when you guys want to head out. I think that's everybody. And she's, like, going around and counting the corpses as they're being dragged out. Like, there's a point where she goes out into the alleyway and starts counting corpses in the cart. (laughs) All right, that's everybody cool. But, yeah. There's a ship somewhere somewhere that doesn't have anyone on it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. <clears throat> Lady just got herself a ship. Mm-hmm, for free. That's what I um, all the loot. What was that, Gray? I think she started getting, uh, they got started getting yelled at. That's what it sounded like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I I think we're gonna call the game there, and then you guys can head over to the bathhouse next time. Tech issues. This tech issues. You guys have all yeah. leveled up. Well done. You've done it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Yay! There's a rolling. lot of people to fight. Oh God! So I I want to level up right now. <laughs> None of the party actually went unconscious. That's mm. something to be proud of. Mm-hmm. An NPC did. Briefly. Mm. <laughs> you know. Uh, but just as a note, since I assume we're taking a long definitely taking a long rest to oh, do yeah. all this shit. Um Pratt does not stay with you guys and he just disappears into the sewers. That's valid. Uh yeah, um as nice as this place is. Uh, dude, uh, I- Istolil has his own place he is going to go back and sleep at, and he will meet you guys here the next day. Yeah. You guys all have homes within the city. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah so, so we can say for brevity's sake that you guys did your cursory bandaging of wounds. Tarina took you guys, like, walked you guys beside the bathhouse. And then took off and you guys all went your own separate ways to meet up sometime the next day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Many apologies, folks, for the, the technical difficulties. These are long-standing, okay. but they should hopefully be getting resolved uh, this Wednesday, so they won't be affecting sessions in the future. Cool. Um, good and job. thank you very much for running, Leto. This was a... Yes. A it it feels good to get back in the DM seat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, now the big question is: Do I roll my co- do I roll dice to do health, or do I just take the six? Oh, you yeah. can do either. Mm. 
Myself, personally, I am taking average. I average as well, usually. Six. Well, if I did that, I'd get eight health, so that's not bad. I think I'm alright with this character being potentially weak. So I'm gonna roll. <laughs> roll. Go for it. 